Back home, Limpopo Health MEC Popi Ramutuba has confirmed that the department received nine identifiable bodies. She says others uh, or other body parts uh, of different people are still being examined. Authorities are still combing the scene of the crash which left 45 people dead and one little girl injured. The bus was traveling to Morea from Khabaroni. Ramatuba says uh, the search and recovery mission continues. Let us also convey our message of condolences to the families, to the people of Botswana, to the government of Botswana, to St. Engena's Church because it's their fellow worshippers that uh, have perished in this tragic accident. What we can indicate is that you need to appreciate and understand that when an accident like this one occur, um, it, it then would involve the multidisciplinary uh, teams coming from department, different departments. The Department of Transport, the first thing that they will do is to get from the bus owner the itinerary as to how many people embark on this particular journey, which uh, for now we have been informed it's 45. Mm. But then, like you have rightfully said, as the Department of Health, we depend on the actual uh, remains that we will be those who would be survivors and those who who, who passed perished will look at the remains for now what i can confirm i needed to give that background mm. for now what we can confirm from the department of health is that yes indeed we've got one eight year old who survived was taken to the nearest hospital after stabilization has further been referred to a regional hospital where she is under specialist care mm. Then the, the second issue is that we did receive nine uh, bodies that are identifiable, meaning with those nine bodies, and we will be able to resume with our postmortem as soon as working with DECO and the government of Botswana, we can be able to get the families and do the proper processes. Immediately after that postmortems, we can release them.